Welcome back to On Football. Today's unboxing is on a new product from BSN Sports. For my football fans out there, you're probably more familiar with their shoulder pad line, Gear Pro Tech. The Z Cool pads are still one of the most popular pads today, even though they came out about 10 years ago. So, what I have for you today in these two big boxes is some new shoulder pads from Gear Pro Tech. Uh, they're called the Razor. I'm going to unbox them for you, uh, but they've got brand new technology. I've taken a, a sneak peek at it, uh, but I want to do the full unboxing for you guys. So let's take a look. These, I believe, are going to be the skill pad. It's obviously just like every other pad on the market. You know, they're going to have a skill version. They're going to have an all-purpose version and they're going to have an OLDL. So I was fortunate enough to get in the skill and the OLDL, so we're going to take a look. So take a look at this. Uh, you guys can already tell that this is hot. I love just the color, the matte black uh, with kind of the green on here. Uh, but just so you guys can take a look at the pad. Yeah. That looks nice, uh, but I'm going to go over some of the technology in the pad. First of all, um, they're lightweight. That's something that Gear Pro Tech, that's just standard with them. Um, they focus on protection and lightweight in their pads um, and technology. So looking at this pad, they've got compressed hex foam, um, and that's going to be, uh, for them, it's going to be more protective. Hex, you know, McDavid used it in their padding. Hex is something that's really strong in the way that the hexagons come together, as well as providing protection um, with that foam. They've got a, a sternum pad as well, for you guys to see right here, as well as the spine pad in the back. So all of this is going to have that compressed hex foam padding. Uh, the other thing is on the shoulder portion. So you're going to have this removable padding, just like a lot of other pads that you've seen. Um, you guys know that I usually take these out. Reason being, this is going to let the pad sit a little bit lower for you. But then the cool part about this is, is this is gonna be like, almost like a memory foam. So you can see that I'm pushing it in right here. So it's gonna be flexible, protective, and kind of mold to your body um, on the underside. So that's gonna be super comfortable. I can't wait to put this on and try these out. They've also on the inside, they've got what they call a comfort liner. So it's gonna be, make this pad easy to wash. But you actually just unvelcro this from the shell. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see. Let me try to show it for you guys. So I pretty much just removed uh, the inner liner from this, and that's gonna do two things for you. So not only is it gonna make it a little more comfortable for you and then easy to wash, but actually you can customize these for your exact fit from your shoulders. Obviously this is gonna be an approximate measurement for you, uh, but this is gonna make sure that you can actually customize it. So let me put this back in. One of the most unique things on this pad that I saw so far is actually the way the buckles go. So there's different types of buckles. There's really two on the market, right? You've got the kind that clip in that you take, they have the elastic, you come and you stick it in. And you know, if you guys see my reviews, you know that I don't like those because they never can stay as tight it allows the defender to push up on your pad. So I really like the ones that, that buckle. Now the thing is with the ones that buckle, you usually get uh, some sort of the uh, that belts actually sticking up and like kind of poking through your jersey unless you had that really tight fit jersey. So they came up with a solution for that. And this actually has what they are calling a pad lock system. So I don't know how it works yet. I haven't tested it out, but here's the attachment for it. And here's how it's gonna go in. So that's not coming out at all. Um, I'm excited to try this out. I wish I had a game to play actually in these um, because these pads look so raw. Um, besides looking good, um, they actually look like they're gonna perform. So the other things in a pad um, that are gonna make a pad uh, really good, at least for me as a DB, um, what I really like is gonna be the size, right? You want a pad to be lightweight, you don't want it to be bulky, so you want it to be thin, you want it to sit low on your shoulders, and then obviously you want that range of motion. So the last thing that they did with this pad is they made an innovative uh, cap to it. So it actually gives you more range of motion, 
um, than other pads on the market. You can see that this flips all the way up. So I'm gonna try to get in uh, some of their z -Cool pads, which is you know their other most popular pad on the market and compare this to it. A lot of you guys are gonna be familiar with it. I have not reviewed that pad. Um, so I'm gonna get that one in, review that, and compare it to this one. So now you kind of see the initial impression of this. Um, in my detailed review, you're going to see um, all the details about it. I'm going to try it on. I'm going to show it with the jersey over it, uh, show it with the helmet, show you the side to side, um, everything that you have in this pad. So now let's take a quick look at the OLDL, and I'll tell you some of the differences and what makes this skill position pad different from the OLDL. So this is actually going to be the OLDL pad, and it's going to have the same exact technology as the skill position pad, the only difference is gonna be that the actual arches are gonna be super thin. They're the thinnest that they make on this pad and that's so that you know you're, it's lightweight, you're not gonna be able to grab it uh, you know, when you're on the line and also it's gonna have um, a little bit smaller caps for you and then the pads, it, this is funny, they're actually lighter. So the OLDL are actually the lightest pads that they have even lighter than the skill because they make them so minimal because they're really tailored to what you need. So there's one more thing I wanna show you guys. And of course, that's the back plate. You have to have a back plate. Skill position, always, right? So, they sent me the back plate and the back plate is gonna have that compressed hex technology in it as well. So. You guys kind of take a look at that. On the sides, we're gonna have that compressed hex padding, and in the middle, you're gonna have that closed cell foam. And this pad actually fits all of the Razor pads. It actually fits the Z-Cool, and I've also been told that it's gonna fit um, other pads as well outside the Gear Protect brand. So you're gonna have these three different attachments, so we're gonna test out how that looks. Um, but I love the look of it already. I wish it had a little green on here just to go with the other green in the pad. But obviously, if they want to make it match with other shoulder pads, um, you know, you kind of want to make it a dark color. So I'm going to test all the stuff out. We're going to test out the pads. I'm going to check back with you guys in a week. This Friday, the review is going to be up. So check back for a review. If you like my videos, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.